What's up guys, Kellen here with uh, Droid Life and we finally got the Verizon 4G LTE Galaxy Nexus. So first thing we necessarily, we essentially want to do is unlock the bootloader on it. Assuming of course you want to do, use ROMs later on, you want to hack, do all this fun stuff, root it, all that stuff, right? Unlocking the bootloader just sort of frees you, lets you do whatever you want to the phone for the most part. So first things first, unlock the bootloader, let's jump in, it should be really simple, okay? So we posted instructions and what we told you to do is set up the Android SDK. Okay, so you can see, here's my SDK folder. Um, once you've got that set up and running, um, there's a ton of tutorials out there. I know sometimes it's a pain to set up, but you got to get that set up first. Um, we've given some basic instructions, but if you want more, there's, like I said, there's a hundred tutorials out there on how to get the SDK set up. Okay, once you have that set up, there's actually a Samsung, I believe it's a USB driver, just a Samsung driver in general. We've got a link to that at the site as well. Um, you're gonna have to install that on your Windows PC before you can do this. Um, but after that, make sure your phone is on. And so you can see it's on. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in USB cable. And also wanna make sure that USB debugging is connected. So if you aren't aware what USB debugging is, if we go into our about screen, or I'm sorry, settings going to developer options, the top one should be USB debugging. Make sure that's checked. Um, once you have it plugged in, you can set your phone down and go back to your computer. And if you look right down there, you can see my device is ready to use. So I have ADB all set up, I have the SDK set up, and I have the Samsung driver that came out um, installed on there. So basically, I'm going to go into my tools folder where I have ADB and I also have Fastboot. I have those two files in here because we're basically Fastboot using fastboot commands to unlock this. So from there, I'm going to open a command prompt from within the tools folder. And we're going to type in ADB, oops, ADB reboot bootloader and phone shut off. It should reboot to the bootloader. Here's your bootloader. Um, your computer is now going to setup driver right there so you can see Android ADB interface is now set up and I believe this is where you have to have that Samsung driver that we posted um, in order for this to work so now that that's set up back to our command prompt and from here we type fast boot OEM unlock hit enter <clears throat> and on our phone we get do you really want to unlock the bootloader um, no is highlighted all you do is hit volume up to get to yes and then you click in your power lock switch and and you can see down at the bottom and get that to focus it now is unlocked so see that so that unlocked the bootloader um, it also says fast boot status is okay you can't really see that down there um, you can see on the uh, on the actual computer, you can see it went through, it finished, it took all of 20 seconds to fast boot OEM unlock. And so yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can get that to focus again. Unlocked. So my Galaxy Nexus is now unlocked. Um, in order to reboot, all you do is make sure this is set on start, click in the power switch and your phone will reboot. And there is your unlock icon, which means your phone is now unlocked. And this should... Well, first boot up, and then I believe it'll just start up and it's already wiped. It could possibly be wiping the phone as we speak. So give this a second. All right, so, well, for whatever reason, mine just kept looping and looping, and it actually, I unplugged it from the computer. This shouldn't normally happen, but I had to unplug it, and then it booted, rebooted itself, and now we're back up. So, not sure why there was that little hiccup in there, but, um, so if your phone starts boot looping for a second, or for like, five minutes, I would unplug it from the computer and then it should start back up. And as you can see, I'm back to the welcome screen. I've an unlocked Verizon Galaxy Nexus and we're ready to uh, for the developer community to release massive amounts of ROMs on us. So anyway, check us out the blog if you need more and we're out. Peace.